say henceforth know we no man after the flesh so my advice to you is it's pastor chike that you think you know but it's not pastor chike that you know if you got that you got that have you yes hallelujah can somebody give jesus a big shout of praise Woo! glory 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 can you just lift up your hands and glorify god just lift up your hands say something beautiful to jesus this evening just say something beautiful Oh, it's a good time to pray in the Holy Ghost. Yes. <laughs> You will not live here the same way you came. Mandelege de brondo so karabada la bada la shiada bada kada siata la bada shas. Ore de boko to brege de lege de sh. Ore ba 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 I alabara basonte, I alabara bara basonte, I alabara bara basonte, I kapata laba dege debo doso telegedesha, reba laba dege debo robo son telebregedesha, reba ba 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 ya gada la gadea, reba ba 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 ya la gadelegedesh, reba kaba ya gada la gadelegedelegedelegedesh, reba ba 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 ba, I kaba ya ta, I kaba ya taba. I kabaya kata, I bakata ya bala, I kabaya la badasha, ye kala bala badeyasa, I kabala gadeyata, urada da zekete legedesha, I kata la barada ba zekete legedesh, reba ba 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 ba. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. This is the victory, eh, that overcomes the world, even our faith. Oh, thank you, Lord. Our faith is being built up. Our faith is rising higher and higher like an edifice. Hey, subduing nations, subduing situations, subduing limitations. In the name of Jesus, Ika la badasha, balaga dero botoya sa, Ika tala godo sotele gede shata ya, ye bolo bodo seteyos, belo godo, brode bodo. In the name of Jesus. I'm just here to charge your spirit up. Can you just give me revelations? DJ, give me revelations 22 verse 13. 22 verse 13. I just want us to spend some little time. Just a little time before the world will come up. Because the truth is, fear is in the town. There is fear everywhere. I, I, I was meditating last week. I was just reading a scripture and, and the thing just came alive to me. Hallelujah. God told me, the, the Spirit told me that have a mind that is resistant to fear. Say, have a mind that is resistant to fear. Fear absolutely nothing. He says, I have made you a champion. But look at this. He says, I am Alpha and Omega. It says the beginning and the end. The first and the last. Hallelujah. It means that God has covered all the perimeter. Hey, you, you did not get it. God has covered all the perimeter for you. God has covered all the perimeter. Bible says he's the first and the last. And all that is within. Hallelujah. Refuse to fear. No matter what comes your way. Ha, ya Do you know what he told Joshua? He says, be of good cheer. 
only be strong and very courageous. He says that no one shall be able to stand against you successfully. It means that as they come against you, hey, one way, they will flee before you seven ways. You, you, you will be a mighty arrow. You will be a mighty defense. Hey, malego soterestas. Tell yourself, I, re I refuse to fear. Say, I will still go after my dreams and my hands will touch them. In the name of Jesus. Can you shout a believing hallelujah? Woo, glory to God. I said glory to God. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Praise God. Woo, glory, 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 glory. Praise God. What a wonderful privilege. Amen. All right. To be here. To, to share God's word with us. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, I've dreamt about this day plenty times. You know, I've, I've, I've lived in it. Praise God. One thing, one thing we must understand as Christians is that we must know how to live as Christians. God has empowered us. God has given us all the authority, all the power that we require to live in this life. Praise God. He has given it to us in Christ Jesus. So if you are not, if you are not living the life, if you are not living the life, it is not God's fault. Praise God. It is not God's fault. It is for you to wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. And begin, to, and begin to do what God has called you to do. Amen. Praise God. And one thing you must understand, you are not a victim. You are never a victim. God, God did not bring Jesus for him to die and to be raised from the dead. For you to now be subject to the things that he has already cancelled. It's double tragedy. Double jeopardy. Hallelujah. So you must understand that, hey, as you are in Christ Jesus, he has given you all things. Many people don't believe that. See, we, you, you have to come to the point where you take this word literally as it is. If he says that, if he says that you are his righteousness, you must understand that, that, that you carry his very life and nature. There is no other life. Amen. There is no other life. There is no other life. Hallelujah. You've got to understand. You've got to understand it. Amen. And there are three basic ways, three important laws I want to share with us tonight that, that releases the miraculous every day, every time. Three important laws. And these laws are things that, they are not new. Let me tell you something. Many of us, we are looking for a big revelation that will change our life. It is the same thing that he has told you that we don't do. It is the same thing all over the scriptures that he tells us that we don't put to practice. That is what, that is what, that is, what is limiting us. It is not one big revelation. You don't, need, you don't need one big revelation. They will put Greek and Hebrew plus Korean, Aramaic. Mm -mm. That is as simple as the gospel. As simple as the gospel. Hallelujah. So the first, the, the, I, want, I want to show you three things. Three important laws. But firstly, I want to, I want to show you how to live as a Christian. I want to show you how to live. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 is also in Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 he says and he humbled thee and suffered thee to, thee to hunger he says and fed thee with manna which thou knowest not neither did thy fathers know 
He says that he, that, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by what? Bread alone. But what? By every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. What does he say? Man does not live by what? Bread alone. But by every word. You must live by the word of God. I put it to you. If you are not living by the word of God, you are not living the life. You are still you are, you are short changing yourself. Let, let's see. It's the same thing in um, Matthew chapter 4. But let's now see. Let's now see Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. It says, my son, attend to my words. Incline thy ears to my saying. Move on. He says, let them not depart from what? Thy eyes. He says, keep them in the midst of thy heart. Verse, For they are what? Life. <laughs> See, if you, don't, if, you don't, if you are not living by the word, you don't have life. You are not living, you are not, you are not, you are not living the, the Christian life. You are just living the natural life. Void of supernatural encounters. Void of supernatural encounters. So, because, because this word, this word, Bible says that being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, that what? Liveth and abideth forever. It lives and it abides forever. It means that once you live by the word, there will be no corruption in your life. There will be no corruption. Hey. Let me tell you something. You might, you might, you might, you might have been in church for so many years. I too. I was in church too. I was just doing it. I was not paying attention. That's what the Bible says. In that, it says, pay attention. That's what it says. Give attention to the word. If you don't give attention, it says, attend to my words. It means give attention to it. If Pastor K says something, whatever you give attention to, will also give attention to you. There is, there, is, there, is that, there is that koinonia that it, 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 it establishes. Glory to God. So the first way to live is what? By the word. The second way to live is what? By the spirit. John 6 verse, 30, John 6 verse 63. John 6 verse 63. This is the way we live as Christians. If you, don't, if you, don't, if you are not living this way, you are not living the life. Amen. Your life will be void of miracles. It will be void of solutions, results. He says, it is the spirit that what? Quickeneth. says, the flesh profits nothing. says, the words that I speak to you, they are what? Spirit and they are what? Life. There's somewhere else in the Bible. It says, the letter killeth, but the spirit giveth life. The spirit gives life. Hallelujah. The spirit gives life. So you live by the word. You live by the Spirit. Then the last one, who can say? We we'll live by faith. Praise God. Please let me remove this mic. Hallelujah. So the last one is we live by faith. We live by faith. We live by faith. Hey, we cannot overemphasize this one. Bible says the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. If you are not living by faith, you are not living at all. It means, it means is you, have, you have subjected yourself to an ordinary life. Subjected yourself to, to ordinary things. Mere men. Mere mortals. And that is not what... what God intended for us to live as believers. Hallelujah. So now, how do we begin to build this life? How do we begin to build this life? Because the miraculous is not for a select few. It's for everybody. Every day of your life, you can be experiencing miracles. You can be experiencing miracles. Tell somebody, you can be experiencing miracles. Everywhere you go. Anywhere you turn, miracles will follow you. Hallelujah. 
So this is the first law I'm going to talk about. The first law, James chapter 1. James chapter 1. We have to be fast. James chapter 1. We'll read from verse 21. James chapter 1 verse 21. It says, Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of nothingness and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is what? Able to save your soul. Verse 22. It says, but what? Be ye what? Doers of the word and not hearers only, de deceiving your own selves. Verse 23. It says, if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man, he's like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. It says, and he beholdeth himself. It says, and goeth his ways and straightway forgets the manner, what manner of man he was. Forget it. He forgets. Ah, this is very sad. They've shown you a picture of you. But as you left, you have forgotten. Because you are not doing what the word says. Verse 25. This is where I'm going to. It says, but whoso looketh into the word, perfect law of liberty. Hey. The perfect law of liberty. This is the law that makes men free. When you live by the word, you live free. You are free to dream. Free to, to talk. Free to receive anything that you want. Hallelujah. The perfect law of liberty. Hey, if you want to experience liberty, if you want to experience freedom, you've got to look into this law. This is the law that makes men free. It makes men free. Free from sin, free from bondage, free from sickness, free from penury, free from poverty. It says, who but who so looketh into the perfect law of liberty? It says, and continued daring. Are you seeing this? It says, be not a forgetful hearer, but what? A doer of the work. It says, mark this man. This man shall have miracles. Hallelujah. He says, mark this man. Mark him. Mark this man. Miracles, his life will not be devoid of miracles. This man shall be blessed in his deed. He shall be blessed in his deed. But, it, but there's a condition there. He says, whoso looketh and continues to look. And continues to look. Hey. You, 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 you got to look continuously. It is not you read today, you look today, and you, and you look next year. It doesn't cut it. Hallelujah. It says you continue to look. It means that, it means that where's my mirror? Let me show, let me show, let me show, show us something. Hallelujah. Come, can we hang it here so that we can see? Just try and put it somewhere so that we can see. All right, fantastic. Good. So it says, he that looketh, when you look into the mirror, what you see, you see yourself, right? But in one scripture, the Bible says that what you, what you see is the glory of God. Hey, it is what the world is saying about you, you are seeing. I might be wearing this yellow shirt, right? What I'm seeing there is a yellow shirt. But the word of God says, when you look into this mirror, which is the word of God, you will see the glory of God. It means that you are no longer, you are no longer the defective person that you used to be. You are now the glory of God. Oh, hallelujah. You are now the glory of God. That is why I say, that is why I say when you leave, don't forget what you saw. Don't forget what you saw. That is what will keep you. That is what will give you the miracles. He says, he that looketh and continues to look. I'm, I, as I left, and I encounter something, and it, the thing is not working. Hey, maybe my health is not working. I will say, but when I looked at the mirror, he said, he himself took all my infirmities. Hey, and bore all my sicknesses. And he now says, by his stripes, I was healed. Ye were healed. 
This is what the mirror was saying. But as I came here, I started feeling pains. I started feeling all the signs or the symptoms. That is why they are reminding us, don't forget what you look like. Go back and tell yourself, hey, this is what I look like. This is what I look like. I'm healthy in the name of Jesus. I have the life of God in me. Every fiber of my being, every bone of my body, every cell of my blood, no sickness can stay in my body in the name of Jesus. You go back and begin to say what you, you begin to say what you saw. Are you, lack, are, you, are, you, are you lacking something? Hey, are you lacking something? Hey, my local so bragadishness. Hey, let me read you one scripture before we continue. Um, Isaiah chapter 48. Let me read that scripture. This scripture helped me this year. Isaiah 48. Message translation. I'm thinking from verse 16. Let's read from verse 16. We'll still come back there. I want to show you something. This, this, this scripture, eh, I, I internalized it. I saw myself in it. Glory to God. He says, come close. Listen carefully. I have never kept secrets from you. He says, I have always been present with you. He says, and now the master, God and his spirits, uh, sends me and his spirits, let's continue, with this message from God, your redeemer, the holy one of Israel. He says, I am your God. Who teaches you how to live right and well? He says, I will show you what to do, where to go. Let's move. He says, if you had listened all along to what I have told you, he says, your life will flow full like a river. Blessings flowing in like waves of the sea. Hey, let me tell you what I did. Here he said, if you had listened to me. And I told myself, the person he was talking to, if he had, but now he is talking to me now. And I say, if I listen to him, my life will flow full like a river. And blessings will roll like waves of the sea. I started internalizing this stuff, internalizing it. I saw myself, I saw blessings flowing in like waves of the sea. I saw my life flow, being full like a river. Glory to God. And this year, from time to time, from time to time, hallelujah. Hey, God changed my story. The word of God changed my story. This, was, this is the exact representation of my life now. Blessings flowing in like waves of the sea. I'm telling you. See, don't forget what you look like. Hey, the world might be saying recession. Don't forget what you look like. Blessings is flowing in like waves of the sea. Don't forget what you look like. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Don't forget. Don't forget. Hey, tell somebody, don't forget. Don't forget what you look like. Don't forget what you look like. Because this is what will change your perception. This is what will change your vision. This is what will change your experience. It will change your experience. Don't forget what you look like. Hey, Yakatu Zabara Shiat. Hey, I never forget. I never forget. I never forget. Even if there's a glitch somehow, I just say in the name of Jesus, the blessings are flowing in like waves of the sea. No matter the challenges, hey, the, the, the way, you are, you are clearing the way for me. You make the crooked way straight. Hallelujah. That is why you must know the word of God. He says, he that looketh, he that looketh at the perfect law of liberty, the law of liberty, the law that makes men free. Do you want to be free? Do you, do you, do you, do you really want to be free? Do you desire freedom? This is your secret. And see, miracles will not be devoid of your life. See, every day, every day, every day, I tell you, every day, as long as you have a vision, as long as you have channels at which things will come into your life, you are not idle. Ha! Huh? You, you, you will be mega. I'm telling you. See, this scripture brought me to a former head of state's house. As in, hi. Oh, glory to God. Don't despise what you do. No matter what you do. Bible says there is profit. There's, 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 in all labor, there's what? There's profit. It is how far you want to go. How well you want to do what you are doing. You, you will see yourself walking on your high places. 
He said, he, made, he maketh my feet like the, um, the, 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 the hinds feet. And he makes me to walk upon my high places. I said, yeah. The, I got a call. One of my mentors, we do the same business. You know, I will give him jobs in Abuja. He gives me jobs. Yeah. He didn't even know. They, when they called him, he didn't know he was a former head of state. He just said, ah, Chaiko, go and do this job. You know? That's how we give ourselves jobs. And this man is just only once we have ever met. Only once. As I got to the place, as I got to the place, I just saw soldiers. I said, okay. No stress. So as I just, as I walked into the house, I saw the wife first. From one living room. As I entered the second living room, I now saw the, the same, this same man. I just got starstruck. Because how did I get here? See, the word of God will transport you. The word of God is your vehicle. The word of God is your vehicle. See, no matter what, see, no matter where you are, no matter what you are going through, if you can stay with this picture, if you can stay with this picture, nothing can be impossible towards you. If you can hold that picture, what you see about yourself, the Bible says, arise and shine. For your light has come. Hey, yala go so tayabas. Ye man toko bayashtes. If it's a struggle you have, if it's a struggle you have, and you have seen the word against that struggle, hold the picture. Don't allow it go. Say, sin shall not have dominion over me. Hey, kala to seyasa. You will hold that picture so firmly. Hold it so firmly. You see that, see eh? Hi. Pastor K mentioned something years ago. Sometimes when Pastor K will say something, you may not catch it then. But if you don't go and think about it, eh, you may never get it. He will say, your only work, like this scripture said, your, your work is to put the scriptures inside of you. Once it, has entered of, once it has entered you, the word begins to work for you. The word begins to work for you. See, the world begins to create ways for you. Creates the atmosphere. Creates the, 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 the pathway. The Bible says, and thou will show you the path of life. Ha! Through the word, he will show you the path of life. It says, by God, I run through a troop. By God, I leap over a wall. See, see, the word of God, the word of God is sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. This, this is what can change your life. I was here, I was here. I, I didn't take it seriously until I started giving attention. So what is the key? You have to give attention to the word. When you give attention to the word, it means that you are not, you are not, you are not the type that will, you, you will say, hey, where will I read today? You open the Bible, where will I read? It's boring. Hey, the Bible is boring. That is a trap of the devil. To, to make you run away from it. It's the trap. See, no matter how boring... Ababio is, you will read it because of you want to pass the exam. You will stay on it. And let me tell you something. As far as you have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is your teacher. Abizi, Abba, Holy Ghost you receive. No, we did not receive China made. We received the real Holy Ghost. Bible says, and this Holy Ghost, he teaches us all things. He says, and brings to our remembrance everything that he has spoken unto us. That's the job of the Holy Ghost. But your own job, he that looketh into the perfect law of liberty, the law that makes men free, the law that makes men free from bondage, the law that makes men free from penury, the law that makes men free. Hey, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you give yourself the next 30 days, keep putting the word of God inside of you. Do you know what the Bible says? The Bible says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. It will dwell in you richly. It will dwell in you richly. Once it dwells in you richly. See, eh? It, like the Bible says in Acts chapter, Acts chapter 20 verse, 19 verse 20. It says, so mightily grew the word of God and it prevailed. It will prevail over cancer. <laughs> it will prevail over sickness. Any kind of thing that is affecting you, it will prevail over it. You, see, you don't, you, don't even, you, don't, you don't even have to do anything. As far as you have found out what has been done for you, that, that, that is the end of it. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. So law number one, the perfect word, law of liberty. It means, why I'm staying here? Because this is the foundation for everything. Set your gaze. In Joshua chapter 1, I think it's verse 7. Put Joshua chapter 1, verse 7. Ye kabasa labadash. He says, only be thou strong and very courageous. He says, that thou mayest to, look at it again, observe. To observe is not to look again. You have to observe. To do according to all the law, which Moses, my servant, had commanded thee. This is the, this is the key. He says, turn not to the right, not to the left. Don't look at the waves. Don't look at the seas. Don't look at the problems. Don't look at CNN. Stay on it. When you stay on it, when you stay on it, look at what it will happen. That thou mayest what? Prosper wherever you go. Hallelujah. See, the word of God, once it enters you, it brings prosperity into your life. I tell you this. I tell you this. See, eh, I started listening to Pastor K's old messages. And there was a day when we were buying the island, the, the island um, uh, property. You know, and they were pressurizing us. This, this. I now asked him one question. I don't know. I don't think he will remember. I just chatted him. I think we're still using, is it Blackberry then or so? I just chatted him. I said, Papa, how do you even sleep with all this bill? 400 million in your head. I never knew that we would still come to 1 billion. <laughs> At that time. I said, how do you sleep? He just, he just smiled and just said, the peace of God guards my heart. But I didn't understand. I said, peace of God. We, we, all of us, we have this peace of God now. One small, one small rent is due. Your body will be shaking like this thing. Jellyfish. When I started listening to all those old messages, Pastor M told us, Pastor, say, listen to those messages. You will, get, you will get the raw spirit of faith from there. The raw spirit of faith. And, I, and, I also, and also in Luke chapter 8, verse 21, when Jesus, they wanted to go to the other side, and he was in the boat and he was sleeping. And there was a storm. And I remembered, ah, this is what he was talking about. Even despite the storm, he was sleeping. Despite the storm. It took me 13 years to understand that mystery. <laughs> 13 years. 13 years. 13 years. Praise God. 13 years. I said, ah. So this man take like 10, 15 years senior me for this realm of the spirit. <laughs> yes, now, see, there's no, there's, no, there's no pride. Once you catch it, you have caught it forever. And you'll be free. And you'll be free. And I, and I saw that the disciples, like me, Pastor Kid, why, why are you sleeping? There's bill to pay. There's 400 million to pay. You see, he, he woke up and said, no, peace be still. Hey, glory to God. See, th this, is, this is the raw kind of faith that you must possess in this church. See, we are not called David's Christian Center for nothing. We are a home of victorious people. So it means that, Bible says that, Bible says that, whatsoever is born of God, you are not born of a goat. You are not born of a plant. You are born of God. It means you have overcome this world. What you need to overcome this world is your faith. And you need to build your faith. And it starts by he that looketh. He that looketh. He that looketh. In the perfect law of liberty. And continues to look. It says, mark this man. Mark him. Mark him. This man shall be blessed. He shall produce miracles. You are not the one looking for miracles. You are not the one looking for people to pray for you. You are not the one shouting amen early in the morning. No. You are the one making signs and wonders. Bible says, these signs shall follow them that believe. Hey, these signs shall follow them. Hey, you are the one now carrying the signs everywhere. Showing people that, hey, there's a God. Come and serve him. There's a God. Hallelujah. I, I, do we have people in the house that will do that? Shout a big hallelujah. It says he that look at. He told Joshua, turn not to the right nor to the left. Maintain your focus. 
no matter the pressure, maintain your focus. Keep putting the word in. It will just come to the point where, you know when you are, you are on park, eh? in your car, you are on park, and things are distracting you, the, and the, what you just need to do is to put on the vehicle. Maybe some people are trying to attack you. What you just need to do is what? Put on the vehicle. Step on the brake. Engage. Once the word engages, it's smooth sailing from there. So give time. Give attention to the word. Don't give yourself excuses. The word is boring. This one, that one. What will I read? Hey, should I use devotional? Or mm -mm. He that look at. Go and look. The Holy Ghost will teach you all things. Hallelujah. Law number two. The law of the Spirit. Romans chapter 8. Remember I said, these are the three ways to live the Christian life. These are the three ways. You live one by the word. I showed you the second one by the Spirit. Then the third one was by faith. So the law of the Spirit. Romans chapter 8 verse 1 and 2. I have to be fast now. Because it says, There is therefore now no what? Condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. Hey, it says those that do not walk after the flesh but after the Spirit. It says there is no limitation to them. They don't have any limitation. When, when God looks at them, they say, no, 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 no issues about this one. Because they are walking after the Spirit. Verse 2. Verse 2. He says, for the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death. Has made you free. Are you seeing, it? Are you seeing consistency? It brings freedom. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death. Anything sin and death can bring into your life, you are free from it. The law of the spirit of, of life in Christ Jesus. It is a law. And, and, and laws are established. Laws, anywhere you go, they are working. It cannot change. Praise God. He says, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death. You've got to walk by the spirit. And you cannot walk by the spirit without the word of God. That's why I said the word of God is the foundation. When you begin to do the word, that's when you are walking by the spirit. Hallelujah. You see, these are simple things. If you, you, you might just miss them. You might miss them. They are simple, simple. Like, I say you don't need to know the, how long the beard of Abraham was. It cannot change your life. You don't, you, 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 you don't need to know whether Jesus was black or white or yellow or Hispanic. That one will not change your life. What changes your life is when you don't walk according to your senses but according to your spirit. You might, be feeling, you might be feeling a headache. You will not use your mouth to proclaim the headache. That is walking in the spirit. When I hear someone say, ah, I have headache. I say, no, 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 you cannot have headache. Once you say you have it, you have taken it as a possession. Have means possession. You possess. I have money. Hallelujah. When you walk by the Spirit, you say, I, I feel this pain. Because feelings are temporal and they are subject to change. You must, you, must, you must imbibe the Word so that you can learn to walk by the Spirit. Walking by the Spirit is walking with the Word of God. Walking by the Spirit is what? Walking with the Word of God. It means that you are agreeing with what God is saying. Because the spirit, Bible says, the words that I speak to you, they are what? They are spirit and they are life. The word of God carry the spirit of God. And when you do what it says, you, you do it according to the spirit. You do it with the spirit. It says, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free. 
It's the, it's the spirit that will direct you. The spirit that will direct you. That scripture that I read, it says, he will show you what to do and where to go. See, I don't meet anybody by chance. I don't meet anybody by chance. Hey. I, I, I normally say this thing. I say, God has the right people to help me at the right time and at the right place. With the right information, resources, material, finances, that is consistent with the call of God for my life. It means that, see, you know when the, when the Bible says in, in Romans chapter 8 verse 28, it says, and we know. You know, it's a knowing. If you, if you have not come to that point where you already know that God is with you, you will still be guessing. You say, hey, hey, Lord, should I go or should I not go? God is inside of me. God is inside of me. Anywhere I go, God goes with me. Glory to God. Anywhere I go. I've, I've come to that knowing that I can never be stranded. I can never, never. See, there was one post, I, there was one post Pastor K did, I think it was last month or two months, when we were doing anniversary, anniversary, all right? I think it was September. That post that um, he put, where we went to um, that open field that we normally have church before, and that aboki had closed the place. Hey, that, that, that stuff, I played it over and over and over and over and over. Guess what? I replicated it. How did I do it? Because I knew that I could not be stranded. He, he, he said, ah. they told him to bribe. He said, give me something. He said, we are church. We cannot. He just said, let us go. But not knowing where to go. Hey. The same thing. The same thing as in, I, 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 I vomited it. Hook, line, and sinker. Fisherman and boat. So I, I got a job somewhere with a government company or a government um, institution. We were moving armored cables. These, uh, these underground armored cables. And the people, the people I brought the first day, they were just complaining, this thing is heavy. I said, ah, I'm not capable of the heavy before now. Why you say this thing is heavy? Those ones, they complained and complained and complained. The next day, I now called my movers. I now called my movers. I now said, I now told the supervisor, please call Baba, one of the guys that brings a big truck for us. Call him, let him come. I was in the restroom. I, was just, I just told him to call him, not knowing why. To, not knowing why. I just said, let him come. If the other trucks mess up, he will be there. So as he came, he now told my supervisor that day I went for another meeting to now come back. He said, oh, why, why didn't Oga tell, tell us that he wants to move this type of thing, that he knows the people that moves this type of thing? So uh, before I got to the site, they were calling me that, hey, the people, the, these people, they are not even doing the work. And the people that um, has the job, they were complaining. I said, ah. In my sights, they are complaining. How? I said, from there. I said, from there. Tell them to start going. But not knowing who will do the job. <laughs> so as I got there, the Baba just came and said, Oga, okay, I know where we we'll go get people where we'll go do this thing. I said, okay, where the guy number? I said, I'm not getting guy number. I said, so we we'll go just walk around Lagos. <laughs> but I said, okay, where was the last place that you met this guy? He now told us, Adeniji. We're in VI. I just I say, enter the car, not knowing where to meet him. But as I was going, I was just praying in the Holy Ghost. I was just praying in the Holy Ghost. As I saw the place where they sold those armored cables, the first shop I entered, the first shop I entered, I told, I told him, you go like this. Let me, come, let me stay here. The first shop I entered, I asked this man, where are the people that roll this thing? He said, okay, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. As he went there, he went inside and came out. The same man the Baba was looking for was the person they brought out. <laughs> I said, I can never be stranded. See, I had, before then, I had eight people, eight people doing that same job. But this, these people that we got, only four of them did what eight people couldn't do in two days. They did it in one day. In fact, eight hours. When, when, you, when you come to that knowing, walking by the Spirit, nothing can be impossible unto you. 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. That is the law of the spirit. That it makes men free. It makes men free. I did not have to supervise those people again. Because I saw that these ones, they bond them with them. They bond them with this work. <laughs> ah, I close. Praise God. When you walk in the spirit, when you walk in the spirit, you'll be free. Um, John chapter 3 verse 8. John chapter 3 verse 8. I'm, doing, I'm telling you all the story so that your faith can be pumped. Nothing, nothing, nothing is bigger than you. Nothing is, nothing is too good for you. Nothing, nothing in this world. Nothing in this world. I'm telling you, nothing in this world. There's no, there's no person too big for you to meet. There's no person. There's no person. Me. Small boy like me. I enter former head of state house. From nowhere. Praise God. Praise God. John chapter 3 verse 8. He says, he says, The wind bloweth where it listed. He says, Thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot what? Tell where it's cometh from. Hey. Whence it cometh. He says, And whither it goeth. He says, So is every man that is born of the Spirit. Tell your neighbor, You are unpredictable. Hey. hey. Hallelujah. They might, they, might have, they, might, they might think that they've held you in this point. You will come out of this point. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, glory to God. See, I say I can never be stranded. Hey, hey. I know it like I know my name. I can never, 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 never. Because God positions people to help me all the time. Everywhere. Even if I leave Lagos or go to somewhere else, God has people to help me. They will always find me out. Do you know what the Bible says in Deuteronomy? It says, Oh, Naphtali, thou art satisfied with favor and are full of the blessings of God. I'm satisfied with favor. That is a picture that I've seen of myself. I'm satisfied with favor. I'm full of the blessings of God. Hey, I'm satisfied. That is, why, that is why you don't need to envy anybody. Whatever they have, the word of God can produce it and even more. Don't beef anybody. Celebrate their blessings. Celebrate their victories. Rejoice with them that rejoice. Refuse to be, refuse to be sad. Refuse to be in misery. Refuse it. That is how demons can enter into you. And bring depression into your life. And you say, ah, God is not working. No, God is working. But you, you are the one that depressed him. The last scripture for this one. Or should I just move to the last one? Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. This, this particular thing, see eh? You can, you can get anything. You can be anybody. It says, unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we ask or think, according to the power that works inside of us. This is the spirit that is at work inside of you. So how, how far and how well can you activate the spirit? That is how, that is how far you can get above your wildest dreams. Can we see it in, in, is it TPT or, or message translation? Give me message first. Let's do message first. He says, he says, God can do anything. He says, you know, far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. Hallelujah. He says, that's your dream. The wildest one. He says, he can do it. He says, he does it not by what? Pushing us around. But by what? Walking within us. Walking within us. Are you working it out? That is why the Bible says, work out your salvation with what? Fear and trembling. You have to work it out. You've got to work it out. See, God is in his Sabbath. That's what you must understand. God is in his Sabbath. He's not doing anything. 
Bible says, Bible says that his, the, the heaven is his throne, the earth is his footstool, and he's also waiting so that he can um, make his enemy. How did that scripture say it? Being subject to him. Let me just, because I've missed up all the scripture in my, my mind. But here, you can walk, you can walk it out. My, my, my brothers, my sisters, you can walk it out. You can wake up at night as you pray in the Holy Ghost. The, the, the angels are being dispatched everywhere. They are, the angels are dispatched everywhere. Doing things for you that you never, you, you never thought imagined. Creating channels. Creating channels. See, the type of jobs that I get now, you know, when you are passing Ikoi, hmm, you see all these tall buildings. You now see very, um, all these foreign, foreign companies that are building all these things. They now call me. Praise God. The other day, I just took, in the cage, I just took a picture with, you know that one that has red sign? I don't know if you know, I don't want to call their name. They are the, the Kappa and the Beto something. That company is a foreign company. I worked for one of their Italian managers sometime. They wanted to do something. It was not even related to what I do, really. But the man said, I trust this guy. He will deliver. I said, I said, hey. As I went there, I was calling somebody else. But the Spirit of God said, they say you can deliver. Hey. He said, he reminded me, say you can deliver. I just, call, I just told my supervisor, say, call, let's call one, two people. Let them come and see this thing. Tomorrow we'll finish the job. Praise God. See, there is nothing, there is nothing that is impossible to a child of God. There is nothing. There is nothing. No damn thing. Praise God. So it's the law of the Spirit that makes men free. It also makes you free. Let's do the last one. And with this one, we'll close and we'll pray together. Hallelujah. I just spent, I spent time in that first one very well because that is the foundation. This third one, it is the law of faith. 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 Romans uh, Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. Let's read from verse. Let's read from verse 8. Also. Are you getting something at all? From today, you'll be able to work out your own miracles, right? You'll not be looking up as somebody helpless. You are not, you are not helpless. I, 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 I say it to myself. I say, Chiki, you are not helpless. You are never helpless. You are never clueless. Anything, anything that comes your way, you have the ability. Because you have the spirit of God working inside of you. Glory to God. Romans chapter 10. Let me read from verse 6. It says, but the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. It says, Say not in thy heart, who shall, de- who shall ascend into heaven? That is, to bring Christ down from above. Or, who shall descend into the depth? That is, to bring, him, to bring up Christ again from the dead. He says, but what saith it? He says, the word is nigh thee, even what? In your mouth. It says, it says, and the word in your heart. It says, and in your heart, and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Verse 9. It says, that if thou shalt what, confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. It says, and shalt believe in thy heart that the Lord had raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. It says, with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. It says, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Hallelujah. Verse 6 says, don't, don't say who we go and bring him from the dead. 
Who is, going, who is going to ascend and bring him from heaven? Who is going to descend and bring him from the dead? What does this tell us? It says, no matter what you have as plans in your heart, don't ask yourself how it's going to be accomplished. God is your how. I don't know if you got it. He says, don't ask how. Don't ask how. Don't ask how. Don't ask how. How will I buy my house? How will I buy that land? Don't ask how. God is your how. He says, if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth, you will receive it. That is your how. Don't ask how. Don't ask how. Don't ask how. How will, I, how will I get the admission? If you what? Believe in your heart. And you confess with your mouth. He says, and the word is near you. Even in your what? In your own mouth. You must keep saying what you want. Keep saying what you want. Keep saying that thing. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. Let me show you one of the things I, I, we were saying some years back. You know, we're still in Festac. We had this board in our room. All right? My, my wife wrote some confessions. Me, I wrote some confessions there. And we were saying it. And we were saying it. One day, one day I was just reading the Bible. I just saw Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1, verse 11. From, I think from verse 11. Verse 11. It says, And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass. Hey. He says, And herb yielding seed, and fruit tree yielding fruits after its kind, whose seed in its itself upon the earth. Look at the last line. Now say what? And it was so. I started talking to my own business. Move easy. I said, bring forth big clients. Bring forth big deals. Bring forth big contracts. And that is what I'm experiencing now. Bring forth. And it says, and it was so. See, eh? The things, the things, the people of the world, the evil people do, all those incantation that they do, it, this is it too. They will do incantation and go and throw something somewhere. You, you don't have to go and throw anything somewhere. They says, the word is in your mouth. Hey, the word is in your mouth. It's near you. It's even in your mouth. That is, that is, that is the work of faith. And you know the Bible says, I think it's in, when, when they said that, the same spirit of faith, put it up, put it up for me. I think it's in 1 Corinthians or so. Or 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. 2 Corinthians chapter, I think it's 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. Yes. Ah, I know my scriptures. Thank you, Jesus. He says, we having the same spirit of faith. He says, according as it is what? Written. He says, I believe and therefore have I spoken. You know, he says, we also believe and therefore speak. We, 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 did not, we did not speak and stop. He says, and we therefore, we speak. It's in, it's in present tense. You continue speaking. That is, how, that is how the spirit of faith mounts up into, you, into your heart. Mounts up into your heart. It mounts up into your heart. Nothing becomes a, an obstacle for you when you have the word in your mouth. When you have the word in your mouth. When I was working, when I was working in... Uh, Ferus that year there was a man that had never bought more than 180 crates in one full year a distributor when people do 5,000, 20,000 100,000 this man only buys 180 crates they now posted me to that cluster they said go and prove yourself hey I went there. I went there. That then we were still in Jambes. I can still remember that day. Ah, that day. And 
I had to, I had to meet my target for that period. See, eh, as a Christian, you can't be preaching and not have results. Preaching without results is frustration. It will bring frustration. It will bring, it will bring resentment. People say, see this one, you wanted to meet target. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Now your God, now they help you. Hey. So that day I was at the back. Pastor K was just preaching. An idea just came. Boom. As I went back, I used to, see, those times, I used to come from Ijebu Ode to meet workers meeting. You, you are in first act. You don't come to a workers meeting. Me, from Ijebu Ode, Ijebu Ode, you know Ijebu Ode, Ode. Ask them now. They know now. I was HOD of traffic that time. In fact, last week, last week, one of my members, I think he's in Calabana, he called me. He said he saw my face on billboard. He said, hey, my HO, my HO, see where God don't bring you come. <laughs> see, I'm like one of you. It can happen for you. Praise God. It can happen. See, God is no respecter of person. If you apply the faith, it will work. So that day, I now, I now got an idea. My, my, my first degree is in accounting. So immediately, I now started, I now thought of something, a, a profit and loss account. I now did the profit and loss account. I now, told, I now took it to my boss first, my Oga first, my district manager. I now told him, see, this man is not making profits. I, need, I want to go and tell him that he needs to buy XYZ to make profits. No, no, it's not, it is him. I went, to, I went to meet the customer straight. I went to meet the customer straight. I now gave him all the analysis. I said, you need to buy minimum every month 4,800 crates for you to really make profits. And this is the analysis. He said, how will I sell it? I said, don't worry. It's, it was in Ibafo. I said, redemption camp is there. There's, there's outlets. We'll help you sell. I will help you work out um, a van from the office so that you have a van salesman. On Sunday, I left that place from Sunday, went to his, his place in Ibafo. He said, on Monday, he said, go and meet my wife in Ikeja. Let her give you the bank draft for 4,800. I said, this thing they work. <laughs> hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. On Monday, on Monday, in my meeting, I, I strolled into the office. I, 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 I came a little late. You know, to put some effects. To put some effects. I strolled in a little late. What I just did, I put the bank draft on my August table. Bah! Their uncle. <laughs> Praise God. My God did like this. What did you put in your mouth? He said, what do you put for your mouth? Don't talk to this man. And I'll open the secrets to him. Praise God. That, is, that will be your story in the name of Jesus. God will give you head-shaking ideas in the name of Jesus. God will put ideas in your mind that will change the world in the name of Jesus. You will rise by those ideas. You will rise by those visions. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. He says, we having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written. He says, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We say, we also believe and therefore speak. You, you, you see, you are the first prophet over your life. Start speaking. Start speaking. When you wake up, when you wake up, don't take your phone and be looking at, at Instagram, the next thing that is happening. Do you like the way your life is? Do you like the, the trajectory it is going? What are you going to leave for your young children? Begin to, begin to spend some time praying the Spirit, praying the Spirit. And when you begin to pray in the Spirit, the, the, the Holy Ghost will give you the right words to say. You know the value of the dry bones. He says, Ezekiel, can these bones rise? The only thing Ezekiel said was, he began to speak as he was commanded. You don't just speak anything. 
you begin to speak as you were commanded by the Spirit of God. Because those are the words that will make, that will make impact in the realm of the Spirit. Hallelujah. So when those words enter your mouth, you, will, you know that you have made it. You know that you have, left, you have left one level of glory to another. Hallelujah. Is somebody ready to speak this evening? I say, is somebody ready to speak this evening? Can we jump up our feet and begin to speak some words? Speak some words. Speak some words. Kalabashi tabayasha. Hey, I'm excellent in all my ways. Hey, leke baga satay. Bible says all the saints in the world, they are the excellent ones in all my delights. Hey, I'm excellent in business. I'm excellent in ministry. I'm excellent. I'm excellent. I'm excellent. Oh, I produce miracles every day. Hey, gaduza prakatele bodo shata. Man de lege di braga dege deshtas. Oh, they come against me one way. They flee before me seven ways. A thousand shall fall by my side. Ten thousand by my right hand. He shall not come near me. Oh, le barusa palagadeshtas. The God, my God, he teaches me how to, where, what to do and where to go. He teaches me how, what to do and where to go. He teaches me how to live right and how to live well. Hey, bagada barosa tayasa. Oh, the blessings, the blessings. As I listen to the Lord, as I listen to the Spirit, the blessings begin to flow. The blessings begin to flow. Hey, like waves of the sea. 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 Hey, bagada yashata. My life flows full like a river. Blessings flowing like waves of the sea. Oh, re ba 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 yeketes. Rabagada la gadegede shata. Enga telegede boro son telebregede sha. Ingra tele bolo bo son te yabadashas. Raba ba 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 ba. I take a commitment. Hey, to look at the perfect law of liberty and to continue daring. Hey, bakata la gadishas. Man te kelegede shasa. Ruse pa la gadiga dara zute. Man te. Mante legura badege de shata rode borobo son telebregedesh raba baba baba baya la desha ika bala gadesh rege de bolo 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 bosh reba baba 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 ya ka ye ke bala gadele gadesh raklate 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 kurazika tala badege deshas i will walk worthy of the lord unto all pleasing I'll be fruitful in every good work. I'll be fruitful in every good work. Fruitful. Hey, I'm satisfied with favor. I'm full of the blessings of God. I'm satisfied with favor. Hey, I fulfill my calling. I fulfill my destiny. Hey, Oh, everywhere I go, miracles accompany me. Miracles accompany me. Miracles accompany me. Ah, I'm a walk out of miracles. I'm a walk out of miracles. Because the Lord has empowered me. The Lord has endued me. Oh, with power. With power from on high. Ela bada la bada la bada la bada sh rebo lo bo lo bo lo bo lo bo sh reke baga deke de leke de sh ke brondo zobre ke te leke de sh ra da 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 de 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 sh re ba ka ta la bara de bos ye pa la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba sh re bo lo bo lo bo lo bo shakiasa ke te ke te ke te ye ke de sh ra ba 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 sh begin to shout ke pa ya sata eh I'm going forward I'm going forward. I flourish like the palm tree. I grow like the cedar in Lebanon. Hey, Kabbalah Gadishas. I flourish. I flourish like the palm tree. I grow like the cedar in Lebanon. Yeah, Kabbalah Gadishas. The spirit of life in Christ is at work in me. I'm free from sickness. I'm free from disease. I'm free. I'm free from lack. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free in the name of Jesus. I'm free in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, bala gadishas. In the name of Jesus. Mandele bokoseyas. Ze mandala bakore des. Ze ke bala gadesh. Manto se bregedesh talabadeyas. 
Let the Spirit rise from inside. The Bible says, let God arise. He can arise inside of you. He can arise inside of you. And your adversaries will be scattered. Hey, the poverty will be scattered. The sickness will be scattered. Hey, Gadula Badelegadeshas, the stagnation will be scattered. Hey, Kabaya Ladusa, can somebody pray in tongues fervently? Let God arise in you. Let God arise in you. He can arise in you. And enemies will be scattered. The sickness will be scattered. Hey, Baliga Dabarishas, the migraine will be scattered. The cancer will be scattered. The deafness will be scattered. Yeah, Balaga Diga Dalabaduses. Balaga de Rabo Seteas. Sekete Lega de Legadesh. Mande Lega de Boro Sutaya Badasha. Manteke Lega de Shatayas. Kila Balaga de Legadesh. Mande Lega de Legadesh. Krate, Krate. Mande Lega de Boro Sutaya Bashas. I declare miracles all over this home. I declare miracles. I declare miracles. You shall hear again. You shall see again. You shall dream again. Hey, Balaga Diga Daba Hey, your house will be fruitful again. Your life will be fruitful again. Rede Balaga Deshas. You shall be planted by the rivers of water. You shall flourish in every season. You shall flourish in every season. You shall flourish in every season. Your health will flourish. Your mind will flourish. Your business will flourish. Your family will flourish. Your marriage will flourish. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen. I'll be out soon. While we're praying for this last minute miracles the pastors were praying and the times that I took all right I told you that I've lived in this moment I've lived in this moment and now one of the things that I saw if you are here and maybe you have partial deafness you cannot hear from one of your ears God wants to touch you right now if you are here anywhere anywhere you can come out. You can come out. God is going to touch you tonight. Zuradebo koseteas. Anyone, anyone, anyone. Let's be fast. Let's be fast. Kose palagadeshtas. You cannot hear from one ear. You cannot hear. Zigebo soteya badashtas. Put your hand in, in the ear that does not hear properly. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Rede bakasi adabatas. Lendo lobo zondele bregedesh. Kanta la dalaba dalabash. And anybody, anyone in the crowd, if there's any part of your body that is sick, anyone that is sick in your family, you can begin to call the name of the person. The power of God is here, available. The power of God is available. He's available. He's available. He's taking some people from penury. He's taking some people from lack. He's taking some people from, from a disadvantaged position. He's changing somebody's story tonight. He's changing your story tonight. I want your faith to be alert at this time. Yebaka talaba delegedesh. Mandelege de Boroso te bregede shatayas. Ye balaga de redesh. The two of you look at me, look at me. Come forward. Just come forward. Put your hand in your ear. Just put it. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the death spirit. In the name of Jesus. Out from him in the name of Jesus. The deafness is unstopped. You are free in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. You will hear well. 
you will hear well. You will hear the sounds of life from this year. From now in the name of Jesus. I said this deafness be unstopped in the name of Jesus. Thank you mighty God. It's done. It's done. It's done. Hallelujah. It's done. I know it's done. It's done. It's done in the name of Jesus. It's done in the name of Jesus. Can somebody celebrate? Can somebody celebrate? Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. From tomorrow, from tomorrow, you will begin to see that things have changed. You begin to see that things have changed for you. Things have changed for you. Your words will change for you. Your life will change for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree anyone sick in this room, anyone watching online or in this room, I rebuke that sickness in the name of Jesus. You are every with all in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I said the life of God begins to enter into you. The life of God begins to enter into you. You will begin to see well. You will begin to hear well. You will begin to breathe well. In the name of Jesus. Every part of your organs begin to work. Every part of your organs begin to work. And I rebuke every pain. I rebuke every spirit of infirmity. In the name of Jesus. You are free. I decree you are free. In the name of Jesus. Can somebody give Jesus a big shout? Give Jesus a big shout. Give Jesus a big shout.